Hi guys, so today I think we're gonna finish up our little um, journal, album, mini, whatever you wanna call it. Um, the from the Elizabeth Craft Design Summer Special dies. It's also the last day of their Labor Day sale. I believe it ends on the 8th, so I think that's today. So uh, extra 20% off. The code will be in the description box. Um, affiliate links will be in the description box, which means I will make a small commission if you purchase any items through those links. So in the last videos, obviously we made the base of the book, um, of the journal, then we added pockets, you know, embellish those a little bit. And so today, basically, we're just going to um, add some more uh, decorations. And what I would use this for, and probably what I'm going to use it for, are some cruise pictures that I have. I have tons of cruise pictures, and um, this would be a cute thing to kind of pop them in. We had not taken cruises in the summer, and this is years ago, okay? <laughs> so I'm probably not going to do that again anytime soon, but. Um, uh, they were mostly in the fall. We would go in the fall whenever we lived in Georgia. We would go out to Orlando and go out. So, um, on Disney cruises. And then another one, uh, a carnival cruise in, you know, Christmas time. So, um, so I don't know if I'm going to cut out the word summer, but I'm going to cut out the rest of these, um, items that are in here in our set. And we have like the little sun, the postage stamp. We have, um, all these different pieces, the, you know, palm trees, the palms. What I'm going to do is cut them all out on white stamping card, the Crafters Companion stamping card, because I'm going to then color them with watercolor. Uh, you can cut them out of watercolor paper. You can do whatever you like. You can cut them out of colored paper, however you want to do it. But I'm going to do that. I'm probably, like I said, not going to use the word summer. I'll just cut out a bunch of these things all on white stamping card. I'm just going to run through the marquee. And when I come back, we're just going to get to watercoloring. And then we'll just uh, add these little cute things in here and there throughout the, um, the book. I do like when, I think it's Els, uh, does that kind of watercoloring thing on items like this. And I think it looks really pretty. So we're going to do that. I might grab a couple other little like embellishment things um, here and there. We'll see. And we'll just uh, kind of put it together. of things I don't know what I'm gonna use I just cut a bunch of stuff <laughs> so I have the different parts here but for these guys I'm just going to set them here I did like the look of the coral just staying white so I don't know if I'm gonna do anything to that but um, I have my little watercolors now again everybody has watercolors nowadays from different things so you know use whatever it is that you have if you like the Elizabeth Craft ones of course they'll be there on their site but um, Again, I just use this, and to be honest, I probably don't even have to dip into the colors. I probably just dip into these colors here. But um, I'm gonna take my little man, and like seriously, if I reactivate those colors that are just there, and I'm just gonna come in and use using a water brush, just uh, color in this little guy. So cute. And if I want to color the board on top, I guess I could do that. Maybe. A little brown. I'm gonna leave the top white because those Twinkie Bus are usually white. And maybe some black around the tires. And this is just a hint of something like this. Oh, that one's obviously much darker, so let me get this one going a little more. <laughs> maybe take some off of here. That's all I'm doing, just a little something. Cute. I'll put that to the side. Um, our palms, let me just get some of this off of here. I'm just going to dip into some green. And some darker green. Just add color here and there. So what I like about Elizabeth Craft Design, I like the way they do their watercoloring, where they kind of just leave some of the white in the background. They don't get too you know, caught up in having this all colored, and it looks pretty. So let me 
just do something like that. And I'll continue coloring things, then that way, obviously, the black ones, I'm going to leave them black. I'll leave those little clouds white. And we have some flip-flops. Hmm. I was thinking about cutting out the flip-flop top in black, but maybe I'll leave that white so they pop against whatever color I decide to make these, which maybe hot pink is fun. I got a lot of green still on my <laughs> brush here. Oh, wouldn't it be cute if we made a design on here? Like Hawaiianas, like those kind of sandals. Um, I have some Hawaiianas that are Minnie Mouse, they're so cute. Her body starts on one side and finishes on the other. I think I got them last time we were at Disneyland. A couple years back. Something like that, and I don't know. Let me see. Is that purple? Uh, I'm just adding some little pur purple accents just to make them look a little more wild. I did not wet the papers before I came in with the colors, so what you saw is what I did. Okay, I'm going to let these dry, and then we'll just put some of these things in our um, little book just to get it set up and ready for when I do add pictures, and I'll be right back once these are ready to go. Okay, so I think we're almost there. Either way, we're going to get moving because i got to get this going. So obviously these do not match anything else I have here, but they're flip-flops, so that's fine. Um, so for this front cover, it's so funny, I'm like, I have burlap, I know I have burlap, and I just had to look in two places and I found it. Oh, you know what? This will look good, too. I always have things sitting here <laughs> from other projects. This is cute. Um, this is from Martha Stewart, and it's really thin twine, and it's almost more like um, cotton. Maybe some other ones are more like poly, I don't know. But this one feels very cotton, very much like it's actual twine, not just like something for your scrapbooking. But um, So I want to use this. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Honestly, maybe I should take it apart, but nah. I'm just going to have to stick this. You know what? We'll do that last. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is come in here. What I want to do is add a little burlap. Put my little car there. Maybe put like the little things. And then whenever I decide exactly what I'm going to put in here, I will put like a little title or something cute. Um, probably cruising because it's the car anyway. And then it might be a cruise book. Something like that. So that's kind of what I ended up with on that one. But, ooh, see, this is why I'm just going to, you know, if I'm going to put like a little picture here, then we just need a little accent, a little something here and there. You don't have to junk out every single page, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of my style. I don't really like to put too, too much, but, you know, do whatever you like. I'm going to start off with some tacky glue on the back of my hand here and probably just go from there and just start putting things down. And I kind of lay it out a little bit so I don't want to get it too goopy on the front side of whatever I'm going to lay down. And I'm going to use this guy. And it does not have to be stuck completely down if you want the wings to be up a little bit or just however you want. And you can maybe put a journal tag here later or like a little something that you're going to write or maybe even stamp some lines because you can write on this very easily. And over here, if I had a little picture there, maybe I want to put some this and have the picture kind of tucked in behind there so that's what I'll do and I'll only stick it down at the very bottom for now and then when my picture comes in here it'll just kind of go in behind here and then I'll stick it down more or a little better if that's what I want to do I am so itchy we went to um, a nursery yesterday I've been wanting to go to this nursery but obviously I just stay here at home and um, so it was good because it's outside nobody was really there um, took our masks and everything and I bought um, more plants that I probably don't need, but um, including dragon fruit, which I think is really fun. Um, and I just came back super itchy. Something got me out there, which is not fun. That might blend in too much. Maybe it was fun. The only thing is if I do that one, I feel like I have to do both of them. That's a lot of colors on this page. Let's leave that alone. So this is going to come forward anyway, so this isn't going to be here. So we have a little tag. Oh, and I never cut tags, but you know, whatever you want to stick in here or just paraphernalia from like the places you visit or whatever it is that you want to put in there, I would do that. I know these two colors, I wanted to do something about that because they kind of clashed. Um, I wasn't really thinking about that too much when I put this together. Oh, that'd be cuter because it kind of looks like background for the little coral. So let's put that down. And again, I'm just doing this for funsies. <laughs> um, haven't quite decided what my theme would be. I would put that up a little bit higher and maybe I could have cut that coral and use that other piece somewhere else. But for now, that's where it is. 
cute and then a little tag will go in there and maybe a little picture over here so I don't need too much there either and then this side already has some decoration again if you want to put like um, a little seal that will keep it shut you know you can do that um, or just leave it like this and put something cute in the little pocket however you want to do any of this obviously it's your book Ooh, I like the colors going on here Yeah, sure, why not? Let's stick that down here. And then if I want more of these leaves, obviously I'll cut more out because I'm kind of burning through my little extra pieces here. <laughs> I kind of want this one on top of this one. And then again, more little labels, tags, cute things you want to pop up on here, you can definitely do that. And this one's just wide open. It's adorable. I am running out of cute things. Okay, let me put this here. Hmm. Let me see. I'll put the flip-flops there. I'm trying to think what I want to do. Again, and then too, once you get your pictures in here, you can layer cute things up on top of them. So, why well, I like books like this... And maybe I was like, eh, about like the precious memories or precious moments or whatever the book was called. It had so many little pieces that, and it had to be a certain way. And then the size was four by six. And you would think if they made it four and a quarter by six and a quarter, you can just put a picture in there and it would mat easily. Why stop at four by six? You know, and that's kind of why I was like, eh, I think the design on that one wasn't um, the greatest. But, you know, if you have three by five photos, which some people do, I guess that's great. But most of the time nowadays we do four by sixes. Um, I think I'll use the flip flops now. Just because I like the way it kind of goes with the little bit of what's going on on this page. And then, um, and some people love it and that's great. But for this one, it's just a little cute book. So it's just whatever it is. It wasn't trying to be a mini album, you know. So, I think that's... And then it comes together so quickly. If you really add up the time. I know I did some things off camera, but um, it came together pretty quick. And I don't actually know where that would be, like here. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, where would I put the thing for sandals here? Is that too far back? I don't know. I guess I have to go look at a flip flop. This is so cute. And maybe there. How cute is that? So detailed and super cute. I know it's a little bit high up, but um, let's see. Aww. And I could be using the burlap here and there as I'm working, but again, do your pictures, put your burlap, you know, whatever you want to do. Maybe on this one I'll add some burlap. And I, my idea was just to cut it, like, <laughs> however it might end up. Yeah, I can stick that down. And then uh, put something else on top of that. Again, it's just an element. So I'm just sticking it down like any old thing. That's pretty good for that. If I had a picture and put it on top of this, obviously you're going to use some hot glue or um, 3D glue gel, something that's a little stickier, a little thicker that's going to hold something down on top of this. But I love this page. And again, you have a little insert, a little spot for something special. You can pop in there. Oh, I love this page. So this one already has like a pocket and then a little something going on over here. So maybe, maybe we just do a little something like this. Just a little something. You pop a picture on top of that, that's going to be peeking out the back. It'll be very cute. Should we use both of these? Ooh, I like that. And you know why I'm sticking them down so loosely? is because whenever I watch Elizabeth Craft, that's what she does. She's just like, ah, just pops it out there. I'm like, that looks pretty good. She does use a lot of double-sided tape, though. So they have a double-sided tape they use quite a bit. Let me put a little bit of glue behind this. Oopsie. Again, later I'll come in with some other stuff. Oh, this is cute. Hmm. Let's just wrap this around for no reason. <laughs> around here. So it'll show on both sides. And let me see, do I have enough? 
Come around over here. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to try to stick this down. Well, not stick it down, but tie it. Yeah, just cute little twine for no reason. And where am I at? I have one more. <laughs> I guess that would be good. Let me see. Let me move this knot down if I can. Somewhere like that. And I can put more. And that is that, guys. I'm just going to stick this down. Maybe add that in there. How cute. How fun. I'm going to hold that one down for a little bit. Again, pictures, tags, paraphernalia. When I say paraphernalia, is that really the word? <laughs> it sounds like something else. Somebody had said earlier, she's like, oh, I think it's so funny how you say alcoholic pens, I think is what she said. And I'm like, do I say alcoholic? And I'm like, oh, I think what happens is I say alcohol ink. And I say it so fast because you know how I talk. So it sounds like alcoholic pens, alcoholic pens. I don't know. Maybe I do say alcoholic. But uh, that made me laugh. So right now I'm like, paraphernalia. Maybe I'm looking, thinking about a different word. <laughs> All right. Um... I would definitely add something else here too. Maybe I'll cut another little piece of uh, the same stuff and stick it down. Or, yeah, no, that's what I'll do. And then this little guy at the end here. Hmm. Let's stick that up there. Why not? That there. Ooh, this is a fancy page with lots going on. All right, my hand is gonna need a lot of washing here. <laughs> and I just realized too, I didn't even do my journal. I told you guys every month I'll try at the end of the month to prepare my journal for the next month. And what I mean by that is, it's like a planner, but really I use it for my bills. <laughs> so I decorate with you guys and then I pop my bill information in there uh, for the month. And I haven't done that, but I wrote my bills down somewhere else so that I can you know keep track of it. So what happened here is um, I had left this piece. I cut it short because uh, I was going to punch it. And then I forgot to punch it before I put the pocket on. And I could probably remove the pocket, but I don't care. It's just, it's sharp. And when the rest of it is kind of rounded, I don't know if you noticed. But there it is. And I'm just going to leave it that way for now. And so I'm going to come back around to the front. And I wanted a little bit of burlap. And yes, this burlap is absolutely going to fray and do some crazy stuff. And actually, I'm going to cut off the edges to make sure it does that. You can pull some pieces out to make it look a little rougher. And I'm going to try to string it up just kind of funny looking. Look at this. <laughs> All right. As we will say, oh, stuff gets messy. Oh, my gosh. Bust it out. I haven't even thought about what I'm going to do for tomorrow. This made me think of um, Freeform Friday. And I have no idea what I'm going to do for either one. Let me get... Um, no, I'm not. I'm just going to put a bunch of this. I was going to look for my 3D glue gel, but I'll just leave it like this. I'll put a little glue here. I'm going to hold that down for a little while. And then we have our little clouds. I hear kids coming. And I am almost done. So... When I decide what to put uh, as my title, I'll just kind of squeeze something in here. Or just leave it like this. It's super cute. You could also use the center of these. Mm, where do I want to put this underneath? Behind? Where am I putting this? Alright. I might have to glue this down with some 3D glue gel. But for now, that's good enough. So that is that. Let me go wash up my hands and we'll flip through the pages okay, one more time. So I had the smallest amount of 3D glue gel in here. I just got a little piece and stuck it behind here where it wasn't sticking down quite right. Look at that. So cute. Oh my gosh. That little bus is adorable. Of course, things are still wet, so I'm going <laughs> to open this up very carefully. Again, one of my idea here is to put some little pictures here and there. Obviously, you have little pockets. We have this cute little guy here. I'm going to keep that closed. Just some decoration there. Again, picture maybe add some things on top when we're done our little flip-flops that's so cute pocket 
Miranda's in the other room, so there's some burlap, the other pocket, little pocket. So again, remember this stuff took a long time to dry and I had to move on and take pictures, so that's what happens. But we're gonna cover that up anyway. Cute little page with just some extra stuff. I'm gonna cut another one and stick it down right here. Super cute. Love that addition of just a little burlap here and there. So really cute little book. Um, you know, it's not, in my opinion, super duper having to stay with summer. You can use these little books for everything. All those little stamps and dies and cute little doodads that we have here and there. I had brought out this to actually use this blue one because I thought it really went with it, but I forgot to use it. So I'll probably go back later or maybe want to get some pictures in and make sure you put some of that washi in there. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you are doing well. Today is a super weird day. It's like a little bit humid now. It looks orange outside, but it's overcast and it's kind of drizzly, but it's not really. And I guess it's all having to do with the uh, fires. I have no idea. It's weird. And I don't even smell the smoke anymore, although you can see it. And yesterday I smelled it all day. So I guess I'm getting used to it, which is not good. And maybe that's why I'm having all these itchiness. Sometimes I get itchy when it has to do with smoke, and I'm like, just, ugh. Anyway, hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe, and I will see you guys at the next one. Bye now.